composing, Beethoven said, I would rather write 10,000 notes than a single letter of the alphabet. Welcome back, everyone. We're over halfway through our podcast series now, and this week is the classical period I'm going to be talking about. Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, and Bach. They're pretty famous names in the music world. Some of Dates first. The classical era lasted about 90 years, from 1730 to 1820. A big theme in music from this time period is making things simpler. In the past three episodes, I talked about how the music started out just as one melody and then slowly became more complex to resemble today's music. Baroque music in particular is renowned for having a lot of layered parts. Basically, there's a lot going on. Classical composers sought to simplify and clean up things, focusing less on having lots of different harmonies and more on making everything fit together. The movie Amadeus was a big hit. It portrays Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, his life, and of course his famous rivalry with Salieri. While Amadeus might be a cinematic masterpiece, I'm here to crush your dreams and tell you that it's not accurate. We're pretty sure Mozart died from a fever, possibly brought on by food poisoning, not the kind of poisoning popular culture portrayed it as. And of course, there's that famous scene of too many notes. Guess what? That didn't happen either. The transition from Baroque to Classical was kind of like downsizing, so Mozart pieces would have had less notes than people used to Baroque music would expect. While urban legends are always fun stories to tell, sadly a lot of them, including the rumors about Mozart, just aren't true. The common people weren't gobbling up all this fancy instrumental music either. In fact, they really wanted comedic operas that were light and funny. That really led to the downfall of the basso continuo I talked about last time. All in all, the old stalls were too heavy for the general public. Smaller ensembles like string quartets were downsized and simplified too. Baroque ensembles featured all kinds of string instruments, like viols or the viola da gamba. In the classical era, those, though, those were scrapped, leaving the string quartet that's most popular today, two violins, a viola, and a cello. More instruments that didn't make the cut include the harpsichord, which was traded out for a pianoforte. A lot of reason for this is that composers started moving away from chamber music and just performing for courts and princes to big operas and symphonies where they wrote for everybody, even the commoners. While that's all fine and good, though, it also means that there wasn't the tradition of patronage where all the composer's income would come from one person. Sonatas, trios, and string quartets started to become increasingly popular. The classical era drew to an end, and the romantic era started, which is what I'm going to do now. So goodbye, and I'll see you next week in the romantic era. I'm curious, though, what's your favorite time period?